The Spaniards called them the lizard, or el lagarto. This is why it's dangerous to feed alligators. <laughs> Beautiful alligator holes during the dry season. So angry. Oh. Would have ceased their food before their prey even knows it. And El Lagarto, El Lagarto, El Lagarto over time turned into alligator. Pretty neat Spaniard. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Adam and I'm down here in the reptile room here at Adam's Animal Encounters to teach you about a very cool animal. One that was actually almost extinct, almost gone forever, never to exist on our planet, never to be seen by, by your eyes or mine. Probably my favorite reptile since I was a young boy. Today we're gonna learn about the American alligator. Pretty crazy to think that this species was almost wiped off our planet. It was endangered in Florida only 50 years ago, 1967. We have so many alligators now that we allow regulated hunting. Florida has over a million alligators in the state. It is our state reptile. And here we have Tick and Tuck, a couple of our American alligators, to teach you all some cool characteristics and amazing adaptations that allowed them to survive hundreds of millions of years through five mass extinctions and survive in present day today. Now you can clearly see by looking at them that these are smaller than an adult alligator is going to be. They're about one and a half and two and a half feet long. And if we look down their backs and looked at their colors, you're gonna notice some yellow stripes that are not really going to be found on adult alligators. So those yellow stripes that we're talking about, you can see them going down their back down their tail, and that's because a lot of things are going to eat American alligators. Large birds enjoy eating alligators. Large fish can actually eat an American alligator. Otters, snakes, and about 50% of alligators, in some studies, are found to be eaten by none other than another American alligator. So in certain places, they are very large cannibals. Now when they start off, they're only about six inches long. Not nearly as long as this one, about two and a half feet long here. So a lot more things are gonna eat them. As they grow in size, they lose more and more of their predators. Now no matter if they're younger or adults, they're going to have a another type of camouflage besides the yellow stripes when they're younger. They're gonna have something called counter shading. That's where the animal is dark on the top. 